body mind connection. What the heck is that all about anyway? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. I'm really glad you're joining us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Well, what's a metaphysical ministry? The world that exists all around us. Actually, 99% plus of it, we don't get to experience it using only our five senses. Because being able to see, hear, taste, touch, smell, that only allows us to experience 1% of what actually exists in reality. So when you can learn to be open to having other experiences, you get to experience more of the dimensions and have a way richer, far more exciting life. We get every week of a happy share. And my happy share is, I've been going to the Contempo Spa, known as Planet Beach, and I go almost every day. And the technologies there, like far infrared sauna, red light therapy, and hydration, have helped me heal to the point that today, when I was doing some Kempo exercises, I was able to do a movement I haven't been able to do in two and a half years. And I did it without hurting. Wow, that's a huge, huge, huge happy share for me. What's your happy share? Tell us down there. Because when you do, you get to relive it. And who doesn't want to feel good all over again? So what is this thing about body, mind? And what is the connection? Well, for me, I work hard every day so that my life can appear to be normal. I work real hard to get this sound out so that you can hear me, so you can understand what I'm saying. To be able to hold my head up. Do you know how heavy your head actually is? It's like seven, eight pounds, and I'm still building the muscles to be able to hold it up. Anyway, I could focus on all the things that hurt and the things that don't work because of nerve damage and not allowing them to function normally. But how would that serve me? It doesn't. That's the answer. So what I can do is, yeah, my body is physically in a certain shape, but I can use my mind to focus on something else. I can use my mind to focus on the book I'm writing. I can use my mind to focus on the friends that I want to see next week. I can use my mind to focus on what do I want to share this week in our gathering, and on and on and on. And guess what happens when I'm using my mind to focus on what I want? The pain gets less. The dizziness gets less. It may not go away, but it's not distracting me anymore. So it's a choice that you get to make in every moment. Where do you want to focus your attention? Because as T.R. Becker says, where attention goes, energy flows. If you're on our website and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. What is it you want in your life to be real, to be manifested for you now? Something's not there now, right? Well, whatever it is, you tell us what it is down there. I'll put it up there. Come back at least once a week. Let your friends and family know to come back to. Read each name on the list and what it is they requested. Because when you put out a request to the universe, the thought form's about this big, right? But what if 10 people come and read each name and each request, and it's 10 times bigger? What if 100 people come? It's 100 times bigger. The universe can see it. The universe is aware, oh, wait a minute, this is something you really, really want. Well, let's get active and bring it to you. I get that much sooner. If you haven't done so already, go on over there and get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I really appreciate your clicking like and share. Let people know there's a community that's spiritual. And spirituality and religion are two completely different things. So if somebody's looking to develop who they are spiritually, they may just find a home here. Tell me what you want to know more about. What are your questions in spirituality and metaphysics? Go ahead and tell me down there. 
this crazy discussion going and give you the solutions you're looking for. Thanks so much again for coming by. And I wish you a week filled with many, many blessings, and most especially in putting into practice the fact that your mind that controls how you're experiencing, what you're experiencing in every moment of your life.